Now there is reason tonight for Texas Democrats to feel some new momentum. The last two polls released in the U.S. Senate race show the gap between incumbent Republican Senator Ted Cruz and Democratic Congressman Colin Allred narrowing. We talked with one of the pollsters about what this means. Not on my watch. Colin is certainly making a match of it. Jason Vialba is CEO of the Texas Hispanic Policy Foundation, which surveyed 1,200 likely Texas voters. They found the race between Senator Ted Cruz and Congressman Colin Allred closer than ever. We ran it last year, it was about seven points. We ran it in April, it's five points. Now it's three points, it's shrinking. His poll shows three points separate the candidates. With a margin of error of 2.8%, that's a virtual tie. And it isn't the only poll showing a tight race. A poll by Morning Consult of likely voters swung in all Reds favor last week. Just 10 days before, Cruz was up by five. Cruz last ran against Beto O'Rourke in 2018. In September of that race, polls were all over the place. One had Cruz up by nine, another O'Rourke by two. On election day, Cruz won by a margin of 2.6 percent. The Alba himself has run for office, so we asked the former Texas state rep for advice for both campaigns. Well, the all red campaign has done something interesting that Beto did not do, and that is he has truly tried to appeal to the center. So for all red, it's keep pushing a bipartisan message, and for Cruz, keep picking that apart. If I were a Cruz's team, I would point out uh, some of these votes that were important and that were progressive that Colin made so that he really could characterize them as more liberal. We did ask both campaigns about these polls. Cruz's campaign declined to comment, but an all red campaign spokesman said in part they've built a campaign to win. Also saying Cruz is more vulnerable than ever. Chris. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see where those stand uh, when early voting begins. Thanks, Teresa. You can watch the two men on stage Tuesday, October 15th, right here on WFAA. Senior political reporter Jason Whiteley and Gromer Jeffers from the Dallas Morning News will moderate the Texas debate. It will also be streaming it on WFAA Plus, available through Roku, Apple, and Fire TV.